Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm going to take you through all of my empties. Now, I haven't done an empties video for a couple of months, and so my little bag that I put my empties in is getting quite full. And so I'm going to take you through all of the products that I've used up over the last couple of months and I will tell you my thoughts on them and if I would repurchase. Now before we get into that, I just wanted to mention something that John Lewis does. They do something called a beauty cycle where if you take five or more beauty empties to John Lewis, you can get £5 off of your next beauty purchase. So it just says, earn £5 off your next beauty purchase with Beauty Cycle, bring in five or more beauty empty products to your nearest John Lewis, hand them over at any beauty counter when making your next beauty purchase, show them your John Lewis card and then enjoy £5 off. And so yeah, I thought that was a really good thing that John Lewis is doing so that they will recycle the uh, empties, but I do recycle my empties anyway, but yeah, get £5 off your next beauty purchase and so I thought that was really good so yeah I wanted to just mention that before we get into my empties so um the first empty that I'm gonna show you is by Batiste and this is their tropical dry shampoo I love the Batiste dry shampoo and um I've tried the blush scent and I've tried the tropical scent and I did prefer the blush scent now I have just got a um, Amica dry shampoo that I got when I placed an order with Birchbox but um, yeah I love Batiste dry shampoo and I would definitely repurchase after I have used my Amica dry shampoo so yeah definitely would repurchase that. Now the next thing is by the brand Sanex this is their Dermosensitive Cream Bath. Now I really do like the Sanex cream baths and bubble baths. Um, I do love a good bubble bath and yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I do have quite sensitive skin and I don't have any problems with the Sanex uh, cream baths or the bubble baths. And so yeah, I would definitely recommend that if you do like a nice bubble bath. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you is this. I love elderflower fizz and this is scented bath salts. Now I much prefer a bubble bath to bath salts but what I was doing is I was putting some bath salts into my bath whilst it was running and then I would follow up with my bubble bath and so I was getting the best of both worlds having the bath salts in and the bubble bath but would I repurchase these? No, I don't think I would. I actually got these free with um, TK Maxx's Treasure. Uh, they do a um, like a member scheme where when you spend money at TK Maxx and HomeSense, you get these keys and the more times you go to TK Maxx, the more keys you get and yet yeah, they will send you an email saying that you've got enough keys to... Uh, claim your prize and yeah this is something that I claimed with TK Maxx Treasure. It smells beautiful. The uh, the bath salts do smell really really nice. Really nice but no I wouldn't repurchase these bath salts. Now the next thing is by Nivea and this is their micellar Skin Breathe Micellar Water and this is a 3 in 1 makeup remover and this is for sensitive skin. I wasn't really impressed with this to be honest. I bought this because I really like the Nivea um, dual eye makeup remover which you've got two um, liquids in there. I think you've got an oil and something else and then you shake it up and it's a really really good eye makeup remover so I thought I'll try this um, but yeah I wasn't really impressed and so no I wouldn't repurchase this micellar water. Now the next thing is the Dove Invisible Dry Moisturising Cream. This is an antiperspirant. 
I got this for Christmas and yeah it was nice antiperspirant would I buy it again yes I think I would if it was on offer I do like to buy my antiperspirants on offer um but yeah it was a nice enough antiperspirant and yeah nothing much to say about antiperspirant to be honest but yeah it is a nice product and I would repurchase that now the next thing is the scrub of your life from soap and glory i really do like this body scrub it's one of those scrubs that lathers up as well as you put it onto your body and it smells beautiful it leaves your skin lovely and soft and smooth and yeah i would definitely repurchase the uh, scrub of your life um, body scrub and so yeah would recommend those now the next thing is this, the Raspberry Kiss and this is bath and shower gel and this is by the brand Treacle Moon. I got this out of a subscription box and uh, yeah it smells really nice and I did enjoy it. Would I repurchase this? No I don't think I would. Uh, just because I'm not quite sure where you get Treacle Moon from. Um, but I think it's made... Oh no, made in the UK. For some reason I thought it was made in France. Um, but yeah, I did like the smell of it. But I wouldn't repurchase. Now the next thing is this Eve Lom Radiance Face Mist. Now I had this in my bag and I used it during the day when I was at work when my uh, skin was feeling a little bit parched. I do have air conditioning at work and yeah I do find that I do like to have a little spritz during the day. Now would I repurchase this? No I don't think I would. Um, I didn't really see any difference in my skin, um, not like the um, Omeravitsa, the Hungary Mist, that is really nice, I would definitely repurchase that facial mist, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this one. So the next thing is this Clinique Pep Start Hydra Blur Moisturiser. This one I thought was really quite a strange texture. It um, it felt a little bit like a primer, to be honest. A little, it reminded me a little bit of like Benefit Professional, uh, but it is a moisturiser. And um, no, I wouldn't repurchase this. I much prefer a um, a more creamy moisturizer because yeah it did have a strange texture to it and I didn't really like the texture of the moisturizer so no I wouldn't repurchase that. Now the next thing is this um, Mimitika and this is the SPF 50. Now I really liked this SPF 50. It was a nice cream and it did sink into your face quite nicely it didn't leave a white cast and yeah I was quite impressed would I buy the full size I'm not sure because I, I don't know how much it is full size but yes I would purchase this sunscreen but at the moment I don't know how much it, it is but it is a nice sunscreen and um yeah I, I did like it and so I think I might repurchase it but yeah I'm not sure so uh, that would be a maybe. Now the next thing is this Temple Spa Work It Out Muscle Tox Bathing and Massage Oil. Now I got this gifted to me and it was an alright um, oil. I did use it in the bath. I didn't use it on my body at all and it smelt, it smelt quite like aromatherapy type um, smell and yeah it was, it was all right. Would I purchase the full size of this? No I don't think I would and I'm not really one for um, like a bathing oil I'd much rather have 
a bubble bath and so uh, and it didn't really bubble up when you popped it into your bath so no I wouldn't purchase the full size of that now the next thing I have got oh yeah, these little shampoo and conditioner this is the Sebastian dark oil shampoo and conditioner they were all right um i enjoyed using them would i repurchase no i don't think i would um but yeah they were quite nice shampoo and conditioner i do like to have a matching shampoo and conditioner and so yeah i did use them together and they were nice they did leave my hair nice and clean and soft but no i wouldn't repurchase those now the next thing is my trusty stem cell cleanser by Rodial. This is a two in, one, two in one cleanser and mask for dehydrated skin. I love using this when I'm in the bath. I pop it onto my skin and I will leave it on my skin whilst I'm having a nice little soak and then I will remove it after like 15 20 minutes it's a really nice cleanser stroke face mask i have used it as a cleanser as well and it was nice as a cleanser but yeah i have um gone through a few of these tubs and used it mostly as a face mask the only thing is i do think they have um discontinued this but yeah really nice product if you can get it I did get this from TK Maxx and the last time I went to TK Maxx I did pick up another one of these because yeah really really like this product now the next thing is by number seven and this is their beautiful skin perfecting body polish now I don't know when I got this because I found it quite difficult to to get it out of the little tube and so I really had to like work at it to get it out and it was a nice product but I don't think I would repurchase this I love the smell of it I have got a body wash as well which is on my uh, the, the side of my bath at the moment but yeah I don't think I would use the body polish I much prefer the scrub of your life to have a nice little scrub of my body and so uh, yeah nice product I just found it a little bit difficult to get out would I repurchase no I wouldn't I would definitely go for the scrub of your life if I was looking for a body scrub but yeah it was a nice product but I just wouldn't repurchase it now the next thing is this 100 double faced cotton wool pads and these are by Sainsbury's now I did leave one in the bottom so that I could show you what they look like so one side has got like a little ribbed so yeah one side has got like a little ribbed um, bit of cotton and then the other side is just plain and yeah I do like using these I usually use this side for things like exfoliators just to help it exfoliate my skin a little bit and then I will use the um, the nice soft um, plain side for things like toners but yeah really nice I do like that it's got a little double faced little cotton wool pad and um, and so yeah I would definitely repurchase those now I've also got the Primark oval cosmetic pads these are 90 pence for 100 pads and uh, yeah I do really like these and so I usually always pick some of these up when I pop to Primark and um, yeah I love them they are very nice now the next thing that I've got is by the brand Bedhead and this is their Colour Goddess and this is oil infused shampoo for coloured hair. This smells beautiful. It was my shampoo that I have used for the last couple of years I would say. I have bought a few of these. The only thing is it does last, it lasts me ages um, and so uh, Oh, it smells beautiful it smells like toffee it's really really nice scent and I got this in a gift set and it came with the shampoo conditioner 
and the hair mask as well and yeah really really nice would definitely highly recommend the colour goddess um, range from um, bedhead now the next thing is this L'Oreal Excellence Cream. I thought I'd put this in here. This is what you get when you buy the dye for your hair and so this is the conditioner that you use after you have dyed your hair. Yeah, it's a nice conditioner and I will carry on getting the uh, L'Oreal Colour Excellence Cream for dyeing my hair because yeah, I really do like it and I have stuck with the same hair dye for years and so yeah I just popped that in my empties because I'd used it up. Now the next thing, oh, this is by the brand Dr Botanicals and it's their Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. I love this stuff. It's a really really nice facial oil. I've gone through a few of these little bottles and I have got a little replacement already so definitely would repurchase this facial oil it smells beautiful and it leaves my skin feeling lovely and soft as well I um, I can use it in the morning and I can use it at night as well it's really really nice definitely definitely would highly recommend this facial oil it's, it is my favorite facial oil that I've ever used really really nice so the next thing is this by Philip Kingsley. This is their Flake Itchy Scalp Shampoo. It's an alright shampoo. I wouldn't repurchase it to be honest. I have got another one on my um, the side of my bath at the moment. You can usually get this in the Feel Unique Pick and Mix and sometimes they do come in subscription boxes as well. Yeah, it's a nice shampoo but no, I wouldn't repurchase that. Now the next thing is this by Oskia London and this is their Renaissance Cleansing Gel. This is a really nice product. I uh, I really like how it's a um, it's a balm type gel type substance when it comes out and then it does turn into an oil. It's a really really nice cleanser. It says massage onto dry skin until melted into an oil. Add a little water to emulsify and remove with warm water or damp muslin cloth. Yeah really really nice little cleanser there. I would... Um... now would I buy this again? No, I don't think I would. I do think that there are better cleansers out there, but it is a nice product anyway. But yeah, I just wouldn't repurchase it. I do have another full size in my skincare collection and I will use it. It's a nice product. I just wouldn't repurchase it. I do think it's quite expensive, this Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel, but uh, it's a nice product. I just wouldn't repurchase. Now the next thing is this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's a nice cleanser. It's very affordable and uh, yeah, it's one of those cleansers that I like to use if my skin is feeling quite sensitised, just to bring it back to basics. I have got the Cetaphil Oily Skin Cleanser and yeah, I do really like that. That's one that I do use when my skin has started to feel a little bit sensitised but yeah it is a nice cleanser I do like the Cetaphil brand. Now the next thing is by Nooks and this is their face body and hair multi-purpose dry oil. Now I didn't use this on my body I didn't use it on my hair. What I did is I popped this into the bath after I had put my bubble bath into my bath somebody on youtube had recommended that you sh um, can use an oil in your bath and it does leave your skin feeling lovely and soft when you've popped a little bit of oil into your bath and so yeah that's how i used this now would i buy the full size no i don't think i would i haven't used it yet as a um a body or face or hair 
oil I've only used it in the bath I do have another one of these and so I think I will use it like it is meant to be used but uh, yeah at the moment no I wouldn't repurchase one of these so the next product is by Philip Kingsley this is their elasticizer and this is a deep conditioning treatment now this is like a pre-shampoo treatment so you pop this on your hair for I think it's 10 to 15 10 to 20 minutes and then you rinse it off and then you follow with your shampoo now it doesn't say whether or not to follow with shampoo and conditioner um but yeah I would pop this on then follow with a shampoo and then I would follow with my normal conditioner as well I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but I have had it in a little sachet and in a little tube now this is 40 mil and this is 40 mil I've got to admit that I much prefer a little tube than a sachet um, and yeah you would think that you're getting more in this little um, tube than you would in your sachet wouldn't you because yeah both 40 mils much prefer a little tube but um, would I go out and buy this no, I don't think I would. I do prefer just putting a hair mask on after I have shampooed my hair. Um, but yeah, it is a nice product, but yeah, I do like a hair mask. And so yeah, I would choose a hair mask over the, a pre-shampoo conditioning treatment. Now the next thing is another shampoo and conditioner. This is the Rahua, or it says... Rawa and uh, this is the hydration shampoo and hydration conditioner now this I used the first time I've had this twice the first time that I used it it made my hair feel really really nice and I thought when I saw it on the feel unique pick and mix samples again I thought I will get it again then I used it for a second time and it didn't make my hair feel as nice what it did the first time I don't know why but would I purchase this the full size no I don't think I would um it was really really nice and I did think about purchasing the full size after I used it for the first time but then after I used it for the second time it didn't really impress me so no I wouldn't purchase the full size of these very strange that the first time I used it it was really really nice and it left my hair feeling lovely and soft and, and really nice and sleek but the second time it was just a little bit yeah and so yeah I'm not sure why that happened but yeah I wouldn't repurchase that shampoo and conditioner the next thing is by Skin Chemists. This is their Rose Illuminating Glow Hydrogel Eye Pads. I did leave them in here so that I could show you guys what they look like. And they have... <laughs> they've shriveled up. They were a lot bigger than that. They were the size of there. So I'll, I'll put it in so I'll show you how much it's shriveled up. <laughs> oh. but yeah they um when I popped them on my under eye they didn't stay on my under eye as I was doing my everyday stuff as I had them on they it kept on sliding down and I kept on having to put it back up and it kept sliding down now I have used iPads before that stayed on my under eye as I was like doing other things whilst they were on my uh, my face but yeah I wouldn't repurchase these just because of that reason because yeah they didn't stay put and they did keep falling down please let me know if you have had the same um experience with these iPads but yeah they did just kept falling down for me for some strange reason now the next thing that I've got is again by Philip Kingsley and this is their bodybuilding shampoo and conditioner and um, yeah it was a nice shampoo and conditioner would I buy it again no I wouldn't um, it did make my hair feel nice and clean and nice and soft but no I wouldn't repurchase that now the next thing 
is this Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Yeah, this was nice. It was nice and hydrating. Would I buy it again? No, I don't think I would. I did like the eye cream. I have got quite a lot of eye creams. I will show you guys what eye creams I've got. These are all my current eye creams. I have got another one of the Pet Star eye creams. I'm still trying to find an eye cream that I really, really like. And um, yeah, I just haven't found that eye cream that I love to use. But uh, yeah, it was a nice ice, ice cream, I was going to say. It was a nice eye cream, but I wouldn't repurchase. So the next thing is by Clinique again. This is their Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. So this is a hyaluronic acid serum. And this had tiny little, like little bursting beads in the serum. And it was nice and hydrating. I did like using it. Would I buy the full size? No, I don't think I would. I think there are some nicer serums that you can get on the market that are cheaper than the Clinique Moisture Surge Supercharged Concentrate. It was a nice product. I just wouldn't repurchase it, unfortunately. Now, the next thing is again by Clinique. And this is the Clinique Smart Night Custom Repair Moisturiser. This was a nice nighttime moisturiser. Would I repurchase? I'm not sure, to be honest. I did like it and I do like a good night cream, but I have got quite a few night creams at the moment. And so this one I think is a maybe. I'm not 100% sure if I would repurchase this. It was a nice night cream, but mm, yeah, I think there might be some better night creams out there. Um, but yeah, nice product anyway. The next thing is this Luminae uh, Nordic Hydra Hydrating Eye Gel. This was quite nice. It was quite hydrating under your eye. It's quite cooling as well. So when you popped it on your under eye, it did feel nice and cool. Even though I didn't keep it in the fridge or anything, it just did feel nice and cool on your skin. Yeah, I really liked this eye cream. I think I preferred this eye cream to this eye cream. Um, I think this one was more of like a nighttime eye cream, whereas this one was more of a morning night cream to, tr to night cream, eye cream to try and like depuff your eyes and yeah, that cooling effect to try and depuff. And this one was more of a hydrating eye cream, a bit thicker. And so, yeah, I would put this on on a night time. Although I did used to use this on the morning as well. But this one was mainly used on a morning. Would I repurchase? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was nice, but I'm just not sure if I would repurchase it. Now the next thing is this from Dermal Dermalogica. This was their total eye care and this had SPF 15 in here and it was like a peachy colour and yeah it did seem to like help uh, cover over dark circles. Um, yeah it was quite nice. I liked it. Would I buy the full size no I don't think I would um, but it was an alright eye cream I have used better eye creams I, I do prefer this and this to this so yeah I wouldn't repurchase the uh, Dermalogica eye cream the next thing is Again by Dermalogica, and this is their Pure Light SPF 50. Now this made my face glow. I popped it on and yeah, I just looked really, really glowy. Um, and I'm not really one for 
full on glow. I do have quite large pores on my nose and my forehead and my chin and this just highlighted all my imperfections on my skin because yeah it was just like glow city. Uh, if you do like your face to look really glowy it is a nice SPF but just not one for me uh, because yeah it really made me glow. Now the next thing is by the brand Paula's Choice. This is their Pore Clarifying Charcoal Gel Mask. I actually used this last night. It's a really, really nice mask. I really loved using it. I popped it on and then I left it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. I put it on for 15 minutes. Now, as it was drying I could feel it tightening up and sometimes it did feel like it was tingling a little bit so I don't really know what it was doing but it was doing something and then when I came to remove it when I popped a bit of water onto my face and started removing the mask it foamed up a little bit and it was such a nice feeling it felt a little bit like I was cleansing my skin again so I put this on after I had cleansed and after I turned so I cleansed turned and popped this on and yeah it did feel like I was giving my skin another cleanse when I was removing the gel mask then when I removed the mask all my pores looked so nicely refined and yeah my skin felt so soft and really nice and smooth. I did notice that when I touched my forehead yesterday in the early evening, I did feel a little bit of texture. Now, after I'd used this, I did run my finger across my forehead and it was so smooth. And so I would definitely repurchase this. I'm definitely gonna buy the full size of this gel mask because yeah, it says it is a purifying gel formula that decongests pores. And this is for normal oily combination skin. But yeah, really, really like that. Now the next thing is by My Clarins and this is the Reboost and this is the comforting hydrating cream now i can't really remember my thoughts on this i think it was just a all right cream and yeah nice moisturizer nothing really to write home about so no i wouldn't repurchase that now the next one is this falgo cold cream marine now this is the nutri soothing cream i really liked this um, it says that it's for dry sensitive skin and it made my skin feel really smooth after I'd used it. I think I would buy a full size of this cream because it was really nice. I really liked this sample and uh, yeah, really nice cream. It's a uh, really nice moisturiser. Now the next thing is this by um, Guerlain, I think. Is that Guerlain? And anyway, it is their um, Abile Royale Night Cream. Yeah, it was a nice night cream and yeah, it left my skin feeling nice and soft uh, the following day when I uh, woke up. Would I buy the full size? No, I don't think I would, but it is a nice night cream. Now the next thing is this by Clinique and it's their Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. Again, it was a nice mask and it did leave my skin lovely and uh, soft the, the following morning. Would I buy this again? Would I buy it in the full size, should I say? No, I don't think I would. I think that there are other uh, overnight masks that I have enjoyed more and so no, I wouldn't repurchase that. I am getting there honestly. <laughs> Nearly there. I've got another one by my Clarins and this is the Purifying Cleansing Gel. Um, again, I can't really remember this. Um, yeah, I think it was a nice cleansing gel but no I wouldn't repurchase it because yeah, I can't really remember 
my thoughts on it and so um yeah i wouldn't repurchase that now the last three things that i've got in this bag are all perfume samples and what i thought was i can't really explain very well a perfume and so I thought I will just put perfumes that when I've used it I've thought oh that smells really nice I would go out and buy the full size and so yeah these are the perfumes that I've used over the last two months that I thought are nice and I would purchase the full size the first one is Jimmy Choo Fever and uh, let's have a see if I can get the smell No, I can't really smell anything. I've completely used this up. Ah, oh, yeah, I can smell. It does smell really nice. Definitely one I would purchase. And then these two are both the same. And this is the Coach Floral. And don't you just hate it when you've got a little perfume sample and there's still some perfume in the bottom, but you can't get any of it out. Ah, yeah, smells beautiful. I did get a little squirt out there, but um, I have tried to take the top off as well so that I could use it. But yeah, it just broke the top. So yeah, I can't get it out of the little sample bottle. So yeah, I can't use that tiny little bit in the bottom. But yeah, it's a really nice perfume. Would definitely purchase the full size of that. So yeah, that is it. That is all my empties that I have used over the last couple of months. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, then please do click on that subscribe button. Now, I was watching somebody who I have been watching for a few months and I realised that I'd not subscribed to them and so yeah if you do like my videos please do check that you are subscribed because I have been watching a YouTuber for a few months and really enjoyed his videos but I've just realised that I've not been subscribed to him and so yeah please do click on that subscribe button if you like my videos and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Alright then, thank you. Bye!